morning, Craig. I trust you and a certain unnamed Jennifer enjoyed the late night movie on television last night. Yes, Mum. And the late early morning movie too. Yes, Mum. I don't know how you could. Well, why not? The television wasn't turned on. <laughs> no, but we still enjoyed it anyway. It has got to stop, Craig. I can't take much more of this late night ironing. I'm getting blisters on my fabulon finger. <laughs> I eat your breakfast. Oh, Mum, you don't have to stay up every night. Jenny and I don't watch TV on the couch. Craig, have some consideration for those that are me. But how do you expect me to sleep with all that silence coming from the lounge room? <laughs> Mum, you were young once. Surely you had some torrid silences on your mother's couch. Soap and water, Craig. In my day, a nice girl was expected to be noisy. You weren't allowed to have silence until you were married. <laughs> Mum, Jenny and I are both 21. No, Craig, you know how I feel. Now, let's just consider the subject under the bridge. There are greener pastures to worry about. Hey. Don't tell me you've forgotten Friday the 13th. Well, Black Friday, what about it? It is more than Black Friday, Craig. It is your father's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that figures. What are you going to get in? Well, after last year's upset, it has got to be something he can't hurt himself with. <laughs> I was away camping last year. What did you get? A broken nose. You gave him a broken nose for his birthday? No, I gave him a rake. And he stood on it. <laughs> well, what are you going to get in this year? Well, Greet is ringing in a minute, so between the two of us, we should come up with my good idea. Now, not a word to your father. All right. All right. Where is that, anyway? He's sitting on top of the carport with an umbrella. Why? <laughs> it's raining, Craig. <laughs> He's been there since six o'clock this morning. Why doesn't he use a toilet like everyone else? <laughs> Soap and water, Craig. He is fixing the carport roof. A huge branch crashed down on it during the storm last night, and now there's a, a big leak raining all over the Kingswood. So? The car's not going to shrink. It's only rain. It may only be rain to you, Craig, and to me, and to the rest of the world. But to your father, it's the Lennox Walker water torture. <laughs> well, there's your problem solved. I don't understand, dear. Well, that's what you can get him for his birthday. What, Lennox Walker? No, a new carport. The old one's had it anyway. The only thing holding it up is the passion fruit vine. <laughs> oh, that sounds very pricey, Craig. And Myers don't even have a sale on this week. <laughs> you can afford it, Mum. Look, Greta and Bruno can afford to chuck in a hundred bucks, and of course I can chuck in three dollars fifty, <laughs> and you can make up the rest. And it would improve the value of the house. If Greta and Bruno couldn't afford the hundred, I could always lend it to them, couldn't I? Of course you could. <laughs> Haven't got a spare three dollars fifty, have you? <laughs> oh, what a lovely idea! Well, that certainly is a load off my decision. <laughs> Someone should blow Lennox Walker up. Ted, you're soaked. Of course I'm soaked, woman. I had to nail my raincoat to the roof. <laughs> Bloody rain. Why can't it come on a dry day instead of getting everything wet? Right, Ted, get out of those wet things before you catch your death of Kleenex. I'll get you smart, Ted. Oh, look out. It's the fisherman that John West rejected. <laughs> Listen, boy, you may have the brains to learn all that university knowledge, but I'm still smart enough to push your face into that fried egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you yeah, yeah me, boy, I'm your father. And I've just been squatting up on the carport roof in the rain. Yeah, what does that make you? A hero, boy, a hero. I didn't see you out there protecting your birthright. No, I was in the shower washing it. <laughs> Come on, Ted, get into this. Come on, quickly. I can do it, woman, I oh. can do it. Here, now, have a big blow. Big Get away, oh, woman! Oh, please, dear. Oh, just a minute. Oh. Hello? Oh, hello, great Ings from Thelma Bullpit, who is not alone in the kitchen. I can't talk now. He's here. Who is it? No one. If it's no one, why are you talking to him? Because they rang. It's only polite. <laughs> oh. Hello? Hang on a tick. I'll just use the other phone. I'm just going to use the phone in the lounge room. Why? Ah, uh, because this one needs dusting. So it's cheaper. Bloody stupid woman. Tarry hooting around with phone calls instead of getting my brekkie. Who is she talking to anyway? Hmm? 
Oh, uh, her secret lover. <laughs> secret lover? Thelma? <gasps> the only secret she's got is what she's done with her housekeeping money. <laughs> Thelma! What about my brekkie? In a minute. I want it now. Come to the brilla. Oh. been in the carport business a long time, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh... Mrs. Bullpit. Oh, I thought the girl at the office said it was... Oh, everyone that. <laughs> if it'd make you feel better, you can call me Thelma. Why? Because it's my name. Oh, good. Oh, my name's Bill. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you, Bill. Uh, we did shake hands at the front door just five minutes ago. Oh, yes, but I didn't know you then. We'd only just met. <laughs> Bill's a nice name, isn't it? Now, I nearly called my first char Bill, but I didn't. Why not? It turned out to be Greta. <laughs> you have a son called Greta? No, Craig. I didn't call Craig Greta either, because he was supposed to be Wendy. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, no, no, thank you, thank you. Well, won't you sit down, Bill? Uh, thank you, Thelma. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, as I was saying, um, I've been in the carport business for a good many years now. But, uh, that's the first one I've seen with wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Oh. <laughs> well, that's Ted. You call your carpet Ted? <laughs> no, Ted's my husband. He's very particular about his car. Whole vintage car, is it? No. Uh, Mercedes? Rolls? No. Well, what is it? It's a Kingswood. Oh. <laughs> He's one of them. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid so. Mm -hmm. Now, Bill, you will definitely be able to have a carport up by Friday the 13th. Oh, no trouble at all. The old one will come down easy as anything. All you have to do is just snip the passion fruit vine. <laughs> uh, tell me now, why did your husband fully enclose the carport with flywire? Well, the flies kept spotting on the dew coat. <laughs> all that more tea made the passion fruit wilt. But why did he electrify it? Well, that was to surprise Jack. The three-legged foxy from next door. <laughs> Certainly gave me a surprise. <laughs> now, Thelma, um, we at Dreamport manufacture a fine range of classic carports designed to enhance all budgets and tastes. Now, this, 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 this is our economy model. Oh, looks just like a tarpaulin. It is a tarpaulin. <laughs> but it does come with a roller door. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of something a little more substantial. You know, something I don't have to iron. Well, um, um, well what about that one? Well, you can't have that one. Why? <coughs> That's our factory. <laughs> oh, what about that one? Oh, a discerning choice, Thelma. That's our prestige model. We call it Fort Knox. You see, it has a tennis court on the top and a nuclear... <laughs> Air raid shelter underneath. But it, it does come a little expensive. Well, how much? $37,000. <laughs> but it does have two roller doors. Yes, well, I'm... <laughs> ah, but I... The model for you, I can tell, is the Cooler Bar Deluxe. That's the one for you. Why? It's cheap. <laughs> it also comes with our exclusive flow-through ventilation system. What's that mean? There are no walls. <laughs> Plus our lifetime year-round weather protection system. What's that? A roof. <laughs> does it have a roller door? No, but it does come with a lockable chain, and you can electrify that if you want to. Oh, oh it looks very nice. Ah, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> if you'd uh, just like to sign here. Oh, yes, all right. <laughs> Surprise, Thelma. <clears throat> I knocked off early to put the Kingswood in for its fortnightly service. <laughs> Gosh, time flies. It only seems like a couple of weeks since the last service. <laughs> Phil? Phil? Huh? Now, remember, Bill, Ted must never know about this. Don't worry, Thelma. It's our secret. But if he does find out, I'll just have to tell him the truth, eh? that I'm your secret lover. <laughs> <laughs> the first time for me. It's rather exciting, really, sneaking off behind Ted's back and doing it like this. <laughs> You're not alone, you know. Lots of other wives do it. <laughs> yeah, they're always ringing me up. Oh. Yeah, well, I must be getting along now. I've got a lot to get through this afternoon. Well, it's been wonderful, Bill. I can't wait for Friday. Oh, do you want 
some money now? Not until you're entirely satisfied, Phil. <laughs> Don't care. Whatever you want. Oh, I don't care. That'd be right. <laughs> Ted, what's wrong? Nothing. Oh, Ted, you're upset about something. Don't you touch me, you Martha Harry. <laughs> Ted, Ted, what's the matter? That's for me to know and you to find out. I'll tell you one thing, you're not getting the Kingswood. <laughs> oh. <coughs> See? You read your paper, dear? I will. It's mine. I paid for it. <laughs> paid for everything in this house. What do I get? A slap in the lounge. <laughs> yes, dear. Should have listened to my mother. Watch that film, as she said. She'll do you wrong. Sure enough, 25 years later, Mum was right. <laughs> <laughs> Mum should have been Nostradamus. <laughs> What do you want? Nothing. Just returning your vacuum cleaner. That'd be right, using up all my suction. <laughs> Why don't you buy your own suction? Yeah, sure. Just left the vacuum cleaner in the hallway, Mrs B. Thank you, Bruno. See ya. Where do you think you're going? You must know I'm going home to have a beer. Beer? What's wrong with my beer? What? Well, go on, go on, Mr Smarty Dagger. You're trying to tell me your beer's better than mine? No. Well, have a beer then. All right, I'll have a beer. Leave the money on the fridge. <laughs> All right, I won't have a beer. Just as well, I've got the last bottle anyway. <laughs> now, I want to have a friendly chat with you, so shut up and sit down. <laughs> How's that wife of yours? Fine, fine. Watch her, mate. She's got a mother's blood in her, and 25 years later, she'll drop you like a hot snake in the grass. <laughs> what? One day you'll come home, and find the place crawling with paid gigolos and yank sailors. <laughs> now what am I going to do? Eh? Well, you're a wog, you know these things. At least chock her with randy little seducers. <laughs> Flashing their gold teeth through wax moustaches. <laughs> what am I going to do about it? What are you going to do about what? Mind your own business. <laughs> Tell me how I can get my film back. Oh, whatever you've done, it's your own fault. Listen, wog. <laughs> no, really. When was the last time you ever did anything nice for her? What are you talking about? I married her, didn't I? <laughs> Have you bought her a present recently? Yeah, I bought her a new tie leaver last Christmas. <laughs> Why didn't you just give her a pair of boxing gloves? <clears throat> Look, buy her some flowers, or better still, make her a nice dinner. She doesn't like baked beans. <laughs> God, you're hopeless. I'm not hopeless. I'm Australian. <laughs> Ted, you certainly are a surprise package. <laughs> Nothing more than you deserve, Filma, darling. <laughs> I didn't know that you could cook so wonderfully. I was in the catering corps. <laughs> you might recall my wrist with the talk of Benghazi. <laughs> Here, let me put a, a head on that wine. Oh, <laughs> it's wine, Ted. What is it? Oh, it's one of my favourites, Phil. It's called, um... Red wine. <laughs> oh, it's gone a bit flat now. I'll just. Uh... <laughs> there you go. One more sip and I'll go all giggly on you. <laughs> <laughs> Giggle away, Phil. There's plenty more red in the fridge. Now, Ted, you've done all the work, so you must at least let me help you clear up. Oh, no, no, Phil. This is your night, and I don't mind suffering, especially if I'm with a foxy chick. <laughs> You've been watching Countdown again. <laughs> of course. I'm young and far out. Countdown's my favourite show. Oh. That little puff Molly Farnham is my favourite star. <laughs> now, settle back and prepare yourself for my piece of resistance. My world-famous dessert. Oh, what is it? <laughs> 
Chocolate mouse. <laughs> you mean moose. Don't be stupid, woman. How can you get a moose in the fridge? <laughs> Give us your plate. Oh, no, 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 Ted, come on, let me help you. You haven't let me in the kitchen all day. No, 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 Thelma, this is my pleasure. I don't mind working my fingers to the bone to take the heavy load of our marriage. No, Thelma, marriage is a two-part partnership. You do your bit and I do mine. Right, Bob, get the dessert and stop <laughs> drinking my beer. Listen, I cooked your bloody dinner for you, didn't I? Well, I haven't eaten myself yet. Well, eat the scraps. <laughs> Where's the chocolate mouse? It's in the... Damn, I left it in the freezer. It'll be rock hard. Sorry. You deviated little Vago! You're trying to ruin our marriage? What do I do now? Give us some coffee. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, yes, everything's bloody all right. What are you doing? Oh, uh, no, no, you just go in and sit down. I'm just washing the coffee. Uh, because it was um, uh, dirty. <laughs> it was all black. <laughs> Sit on the couch and I'll bring the coffee. Oh, all right, if you're uh, sure. <laughs> right, Wog. Get your hands off me. Now you clean up this kitchen. I don't want Thelma to think I'm a messy cook. You clean up your own kitchen. I'm fed up. I'm going home. Don't you dare leave me now. Look, have another beer. Have two beers. Half price. <laughs> what do I do now? Oh, you can do what you like. Look, go in and talk to her. Hold her by the hand. Oh, well, you stay here. All right. Right. I'm holding your hand, Phil. Oh, why? Because it was my idea. <laughs> this is a surprise. Yeah. Very nice hand, Phil. Oh, thank you, Ted. <laughs> I can remember the very first time we ever held hands. Can you, dear? Yeah, it was 1947, and you just dragged me out of the harbour after I'd fell off the ferry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a lot of water's passed under the bridge since then. Oh. My, my, my. Oh. If only this hand could talk. Oh. <laughs> Are you all right, Ted? Yeah, yeah, just reminiscing about the days when we were in... when we were young and in love. Oh, that's why you've forgotten the chocolate mousse. <laughs> Unfortunately, Thelma, the chocolate mouse is off. I put it in the oven and it froze solid. <laughs> Gosh, how the time flies. It's getting late. It's almost time for uh, bed. It's 7.30. Harry Butler's on. Oh, no, 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 not tonight, Phil. No, I don't want to spend my evening with a, with a Goanna and Army boots. No. <laughs> I want to spend this evening with you. Oh, that's nice, Ted. <laughs> yeah. Could I have my hand back now? <laughs> mm? Oh, mm, yeah. <sighs> well. Yeah, well. Here we are. Yeah. What do you want to do now, Ted? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, I just thought of something else by myself. Um, why don't you go and slip into something um, more comfortable? Oh, if you think I should. Oh, why not? We're married. It's not often we're alone. All right. <laughs> You'd like me to? Yes, I would. Now, off you go. Yes, I won't be long. <laughs> yeah. Mind your own business. It's on. Now, go home. Aren't you going to thank me for doing all this for you? Thank you for doing all this. Now, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in this house? I live in this house. Not tonight, you don't. Why aren't you out there groping all those disco sheilers like you do every other night? <laughs> well, I want to go to a disco. Of course you do. You're a sex maniac. Here. <laughs> Take this money. And if you don't go out and have a good time, I'll kill you. All right, give us the keys then. The Kingswood? You're not taking the Kingswood. I just... No, oh, all right. <laughs> but keep it away from all that rock and roll because it makes the horn go deaf. <laughs> oh, and don't come back till you hear me snoring. That's right, you. Out. All right, all right, in a minute. I'm going to finish my beer and have something to eat. Well, hurry up. I'm ready. Oh, Phil, you look so 
comfortable. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. <laughs> What do you want to do now? Well, uh, um, would you like to uh, dance? Oh, I'd love to. You, we haven't danced for years. <laughs> well, you're only young once, Phil. <laughs> Remember our, our song? Oh, Ted, you haven't. Sure have. Oh. <laughs> Yeah? Tonight, uh, the dinner and everything, mm -hmm. what was it all for? I mean, what, what are you trying to say? Well, um, I love you. Oh, Ted. It's been lovely. Thank you for a beautiful evening. And thank you too, Bruno! <laughs> Oh, Bill, it's wonderful. Now, and Ted doesn't suspect a thing. He has been acting strange recently. I can't wait for him to see it. Well, Thelma, if you're happy, then I'm happy. Oh, thank you. There we are. Uh, $350. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Oh, Listen, you little ferret, my grass. <laughs> no, no, Ted, stop it. Dad, yeah, let him go. You keep your grubby little hands off my grubby little wife. <laughs> And break his neck. No, no, Mr. Mr. Bullpit. Shut up, you. Ted, oh. put Bill down and come with me. What for? Just come. He's coming too. Come. <laughs> now, put Bill down and look out there. Why, <laughs> me mother of God. A new carport. Bill made it for you. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, mate. I, uh, I, um, don't understand. Happy birthday, dear. Hey. Happy, Happy birthday, Dad. Bloody woman! <laughs>